Hey everybody, welcome to the happy hour with Heather B. I am Heather B, of course, and today I am super excited because I have a chance to make sangria. And this is a special sangria because it's dedicated to the one and only boss, Rick Ross. He was rolling through the hallways of Sirius XM and um, I saw him promoting his Luke Bel Air Rose. So I was like, Rick, you need to get me some of that. He told Young Sav to make sure I get some. Young Sav, shout out to him, he sent me a whole case. And I started messing with it and coming up with recipes. So I made a special black bottle sangria in honor of Rick Ross. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make it as well. Super easy. First thing you're gonna do is get blackberry flavored brandy. It's really good and it has a nice kick to it. So it's the perfect thing to kick off your sangria. And you wanna give this a 10 count. I already had three, so you're gonna make this like a 13 count. This one will be, it'll be a nice strong one, all right? Put that right there. Secondly, you're gonna get a berry liqueur. Now this one happens to be creme Yvette, that's C-R-E-M-E, -E, Yvette, Y-V-E-T-T-E. -E. You may not be able to find it. Some people have it, some people not, but if not, get a black house. And the house is spelled H-A-U-S. It's a, a berry liqueur as well. You can use that, they do the same thing. But creme Yvette was a gift and I love it, so I always like to use that too. You add that in there, one, two, three, four, five. Give that about a five count. And what you wanna do, is get those berries get those include those berries inside this already i got strawberries i got blackberries i got raspberries i got a bunch of berries right here to the side and if they're not in season wherever you are you could always just buy the frozen put them off to the side let them thaw out and uh may have them for your cocktails later get your shaker and you're gonna put that right inside there okay oh forgot the star the mixer all right you need a mixer i almost had to shake it up without a mixer Pomegranate juice. I didn't go with cranberry because it was too sour. I tried all different strawberry nectars. No, the pomegranate juice was the perfect one to blend this. And you, it's very easy to find. You can get that anywhere. You want to pour some juice right on top of those, okay? Now we're ready to shake. I was so excited to drink the sangria. Forgot about that. And give this a nice shake. You want to get that fruit going. You want to get that juice mixing. You want to get that brandy stirred up. And you want to get your berry liqueur in there as well. Shake it up high. Get the shaker nice and cold. Oh man, and you can smell those berries already. All right, and put it right back in your glass. Look at the color. Look how pretty it is. Look at that. And you save room, of course, it's not a full glass because now it's time for that rosé, that Luke Bel Air. This is also very easy to find. Right at your local store, you can get this Luke Bel Air. It's really good, plain or to top off your sangria or special drink. And pour it nice and slow. You get those good colors in there. Look at that. And it keeps pouring and pouring and making room. Nice. Oh, add some more fruit just to top it off if you want to. How pretty is that? Try this at home, I'm gonna take a sip. Oh my gosh, really good. Really nice for the holidays. A nice gift to have out with your friends or if you're just sitting around at home, you can do that. Try it at home and hit me up at thehappyhourwithheatherbees.com and let me know what you think.